Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rini and of course this is the Enchanted Planner. All right, we are back in Canva party people for video two in the Canva tutorial series. If you're not subscribed to the channel, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of the uploads for this series. I've got several of them planned. I'm going to take you along on a little adventure with me in Canva. So if you're not familiar with Canva, it's a desktop publishing website that allows you to create pretty much anything you can dream up. I recommend checking out the first video in this series because it will answer um, all of the basic questions about Canva and um, give you an idea on what the pricing is versus and what the features and benefits are between the free and the paid version. So in the first tutorial, I showed you how to make boxes and add decorative elements to those boxes. Today, we're going to go through how to group elements so you can create borders and corner pieces and other decorative fun things for your planner spreads. We're going to focus on florals because it was by far the most requested. <laughs> so here we are, party people. All right, so we're going to start off by creating a design. And we're going to choose letter. I work in 8.5 by 11 because my printer paper is 8.5 by 11 and it just makes things easy. So we're going to come over here to elements. Now, this is about the fourth time I have filmed this video because there's been a ton of technical issues, but we're off to the races this time. So we're going to look for purple florals because that's what I wanted to work with today. And we're going to change this from all to graphics to eliminate all the stuff we do not need. And we're going to go down and we're going to work with these guys today. Get rid of that. I don't need that. All right. So let's resize these guys to make them a bit more border friendly. Oops, let's not do that. <laughs> that was cropping the image down to next to nothing. Now, we've got a couple of things to note. These crowns mean that these are included in the pro version. But the way I look at it is the Canvas subscription is half the price of one Happy Planner sticker book a month. I think it's $12.95 US. So to me, it is well worth the investment. I use it a lot, as you guys well know. So you don't have to have the, the paid version, but sometimes there's stuff available in the paid version that is not available in the free version. It's just a personal choice. So we're going to come down to magic recommendations. Now what this is, is this will show you all of the other artwork that this particular creator has submitted, which gives us the ability to find more pieces that belong in this set. And I want this one. Okay, so we've got these three boys and we're gonna play. We is gonna play. So these guys are still a tiny bit big. We're gonna resize these down a little bit. Now these ones are a bit different shaped, so we have to sort of play around and again, <laughs> we have to sort of, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, a couple of things to note. So if you notice, there's a dashed line that shows up under the florals, which means that the furthest most parts of them are all in line with one another. But we want to try and see if we can get a center line. That means it's centered on the page. That's not what I'm looking for. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, so let's zoom in on this document a bit. And we're going to close this drawer for a moment so we have more space to work with. Now, if you see... This one currently is layered behind that other one. And I don't really like that this floral, it has the branches going across the purple floral. So I'm gonna come up here to position and I'm gonna send it forward. And that eliminates that problem. You can also flip horizontally or vertically on your images. It gives you a lot of functionality. So let's do the same with this one. Let's send it forward as well. It's just a bit of a cleaner look. All right, so we have three elements grouped together and I quite like the way they look. So we're not gonna mess too much around with them. What you can do in here is like, you can switch the positions in them. You can, like I said, flip them horizontally, flip them vertically. Let's just undo both of those because I actually like the way it was. But right now what we're going to do is we're going to drag our mouse and we're going to highlight all three of them so we can group them. Now that they're grouped, we can move them all around as one unit. We can duplicate them by copying and pasting or just hitting duplicate. Um, we can resize them as we would like. 
So there's just, there's like a lot that can be done. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to resize this one down to about four inches wide. And we're going to duplicate it. We're going to place another one right beside it. And that's the lines I'm looking for. The three dashed lines mean that they are in exactly the perfect spot. The red line, that, the red box that you're seeing showing up is showing you the printing margins, but I'm not concerned with the printing margins right now because we're going to take these to the edge of the page so we can create flat edges. So we're going to highlight them all again and we're going to group them. And in its current size, it is exactly the size of a happy planner page across wide. But if you wanted to do it where it was flat edged, you're going to just move them into position. Then you can duplicate this and bring another one right beside it and then group those. And then shift them as you'd like so you get the look that you are looking for. So that now creates a perfect floral border. It's flat on all sides. If you wanted to go the long side, all you really need to do, especially at this point, my mouse is not working with me today, is rotate it so it is at 90 degrees and then slide it over. Let's zoom out a bit here so you can actually see and slide it into position at the edge of the page. And like I said, anything that is showing off of the page won't print. So it's a win-win. If you wanted to, you can duplicate this, slide it over to the other side. And now you have the same border on the other side. You'd have two of them. We're going to eliminate this one for right now because we're going to work on creating some corners. So let's go back into our cute little florals here. We'll grab that guy. And we want that guy, and I want a missing one. Oops. Nope, 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 nope. Is it you I'm missing? One, two, no, I already have you, so I don't want you. It's you. That's the one that's missing. Okay, now we have our three pieces, and again, we're going to close the drawer. And we're going to bring these guys up to the corner and I'm going to show you how we make some corner pieces. Now this one is actually perfectly sort of great for what we want to do. So I'm going to rotate him so he's on an angle and he fits nicely into that corner. And then I'm going to take one of his friends and line them up and maybe send that backwards. And the same thing with this one but I think we're going to change the direction on this guy and again, send it backwards and then line it up that way. Okay, so now we've got a cute little border, but I want it a bit longer. So I'm gonna hit copy on that guy or duplicate, whichever, whichever one works simplistic. I work so many different ways in this. I never do the same thing twice. And then we're going to send that backwards. That's really pretty. And then I think we'll do, actually, you know what? Let's finish it off in a nice clean look. Rotate that so he's at 90 degrees and then slip him in and send him backwards. So this is perfect. Now we have this really pretty border. If you wanted it to be exactly symmetrical, all you need to do is flip it on the horizontal and then it will be completely matching. So now we're going to highlight all of those and group them together. And from this point, like I said, you can resize them because currently it is 4.4 inches high. You can take it smaller. Let's make it about, uh, let's make it about 3.8 and we'll just again slide it off the corner of the page. So it sits there nicely and has flat edges. If you wanted to duplicate this one, you can just 
hit duplicate or copy and paste. And we're just going to move this one down here, but we're going to rotate him 90 degrees and then stick him down in this corner. Now what will happen is these lines will start showing up that show that you're in approximately the same position. There, there it is. Although this one looks a bit different because of the way it's laid out, so we'd have to take it back just a slight bit. Oops, <laughs> and mouse challenge today. There we go. Okay, so we've got, if we take a look at this, let's zoom out for a bit got a beautiful border. You can create more than one border if you'd like. You got corners to work with. The next thing we're going to talk about is grouping small elements together for some decorative elements. So let's go back to elements and let's come into purple florals again. And we're going to work with these beauties. Aren't they gorgeous? We're going to resize these just to make them a little bit more friendly and we're going to go see all and find the rest of the artwork that goes with this. Let's pull this guy in. And that's about good. And then we're going to rotate this one. I'm going to slide it in like that and I'm going to send it backward. So now we have this pretty grouping and we're going to highlight them all and we're going to group them together. And then we're going to resize them to about there. Now, let's say we want a decorative box to go with this. Now, my favorite sticker book from the Happy Planner Fall release is the Fall Harvest sticker book. And I really, really, really love those boxes that have the florals peeking out from behind them. But they're very easy to make and I'm going to show you how. So going back into elements, we're going to come down to lines and shapes. Now, normally I would use this box just for simplicity, but as you can see, it is hollow, so it cannot work with the application we are going to do. So we need a filled shape like so. Once we have that on, we're going to come up here to the border style box and we're going to create a small border. Let's put say seven on it. And I'm going to change the inside of the box to be white. See now you can't see the flowers behind it, right? And I'm going to change the border color in a second, but let's resize this guy. So he is the size of a happy platter box. And let's make it two and a half inches long. We're just going to line that up like that. Okay, so now I want to change the border color. So I'm going to click the border box and I'm going to come over here to the plus sign and we're going to hit the eyedropper. I'm going to come over here and we're going to hover over an area of the florals. And now I have a beautiful box that goes right really well with these florals. Let's switch this around. I want the florals kind of peeking out. Perfect, right? Now we're going to group them together. And now they can be sized as one, they can move as one. Nice and pretty. Simple, simple, simple. Okay, so let's do that again. Let's go over to elements and let's go back to purple florals. Hello. <laughs> Please work with me. Excellent. Let's go to graphics and let's go in and use this one. So watercolor florals are just gorgeous. They are gorgeous. And again, see all, and we're going to grab this. And let's, I want I just wanted a little bit more full looking. I'm going to send that backwards. Nice. And then we're going to group them. And then we're going to do the same. We're going to come back over into here and we're going to go into lines and shapes and get our filled box and change the border weight and change the inside of the box to white. And then we're going to change the size on the box to, of course, the happy planner size. You could also do this in any size you want, but Pretty, pretty, pretty. This guy's a little big, so let's resize that a bit. 
There we go. Now let's change the border color. Again, come up here to the plus sign, to the eyedropper. And let's go with that color. Perfect. And then we're going to, again, group them together. And now you've got a couple of decorative boxes. See, there's so much that can be done in Canva. Like this will be covered in another video, but let's look at simply creating, again, a shape in here. You're going to change the border weight to whatever your preference is. And then change the inside to white. And then let's just throw that. Oops, wrong, wrong one. I need this one. So you're not, you're only limited by your imagination. Like I said, this is, there's so much functionality within Canva and you know, I know winter's coming up as well. So you could type in, um, winter florals, for example, I was already looking in here and you've got poinsettias and eucalyptus and holly and all things seasonal for the winter season. So, so much to work with in here so much. And you can create all kinds of fun stuff. <laughs> like these poinsettias, they're gorgeous. They're gorgeous. And then you can change the colors of the poinsettias if you want. There's just so much functionality. But that, my darlings, is a wrap. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you did, give it a thumbs up. Again, don't forget to make sure you're subscribed so you get the notifications and turn on that notification bell so you know when these videos go live. I'm hoping to get another one up in a couple of weeks. <laughs> there's, there's so much content and only so many days to put it up on. But yeah, I'm hoping you're enjoying these series. I mean, this is just how I do it. It may not be the perfect way. I'm no, by no means a professional um, graphic designer, but I love Canva. So I'm happy to share with you all the fun things that I've learned that you can do in Canva so you can create your own stuff. Thanks so much for watching you guys. I'll see you next time.